What's going on, boys? Let's get right through this game. So first play, you're going to see the Patriots crash inside. And then, what do we say when they leak out of the backfield wide open? They're giving up a cupcake touchdown, baby boy. And they leave both the flats open and the middle open. How convenient. Next play. Let's see what happens here. Today, Junior. So they do a smoke screen. What is this guy looking at? He should be reading number one over there. It doesn't read him at all. Gets outflanked. That's all that is. He didn't pay them any mind. Like, he has his eyes inside when he should be looking at, at least at number two. Because number two would show you that number one is going outside if number two goes inside. You should know that. What is my guy there? He sits there, stalls, and then gets there late, jogging. Where's my corner at? Corner's supposed to be on that guy. All right, let me tell you what happened here. So right here, number two, you got to latch on. If you feel this guy let go, that means it's a pass play. So number two should have felt him let go and then run with him. So right at this point, go, turn and run, turn and run. See, he runs up, and now he's in no man's land. That's his man, wide open. All right. I think this is where number eight vacates. V number eight should stay right here. Stay right there. Nope. He goes to hit that guy. Touchdown. And don't tell me it was man, because 23. Let me show you what should have happened. So number eight. All right. If you want to hit him, fine. Hit him. But then you got to go back there. Because guess what? You let him go, and then 23 is going to be sitting there. you got to pass this guy off to 23. Because you got someone coming back to your zone. You should just be sitting here waiting. So it's on number eight. Just sit in the middle, wait. You don't want to leave your zone to hit this guy. It doesn't do anything. Like, this guy completely gave this up, guys. Let's show you from the beginning. So number eight should have just stayed right in the middle. Just stay here, stay here, stay here. Wait for this guy to come and then pick it off. Because this guy is going right to number 23. So he left the middle open. The guy gets a clean catch and then walks in. So now, fumbled snap, so that could mess the play up. 16's open. Does he see him? He sees him. Yep, he sees him. He sees him, and that, that's the play where he got hurt. What is this defender doing? The defender never turns his head. Number 22 could have made a play on it, but doesn't turn his head around. 55 crashes inside. Wide open. This is just cover two, guys. Cover two. This guy goes right down the middle. Middle linebacker never drops back. That's the middle linebacker, guys. Let me show you. So this guy, once you realize it's cover two, well, excuse me, once you realize it's pass and you're in cover two, this guy needs to drop 30 yards down the field. Keep dropping because there's no one else. See, there's no one else in his zone. He needs to drop underneath this and make that throw harder. Those safeties are relying on you as number 22 pushes him in the end zone. You should be pushing him down, not pushing him back. That was bad. Crash inside. Wide open. Why is he backing off? Why is he breaking so slow? Alright, so now... Zone left... And he cuts back. So what's going on here? He goes too far over. What's 91 do? 91 goes too far over. What is 91 doing? Actually, 91 didn't do a bad job. It's 92 that's really messing up. 92 turns his shoulders towards the sidelines. Now he's facing his sideline instead of the ball. That's what happens. When you don't have your shoulders square, you make it easy for guys to drive you. Right now they have the whole middle wide open. Dude got let through, and then they push him down. It should have been a holding call. Oh, yeah, this was just Kirk Cousin throwing the ball right to the other team, guys. He threw this right to the other team off his back foot. He aimed this thing, guys. He aimed it right for this guy. It was never going for that purple shirt, guys. There's a certain amount of turnovers these guys need to get. This guy doesn't score a touchdown. That's why I'm fast-forwarding, trying to get through this. 
So the Pats did all that just to get a field goal. It was kind of upsetting. Disappointing, really. Looked like he missed this one left. Yeah, it looked like he missed it and then it got hooked back to the right. Can you say manipulation? All right, next play, wide open, wide open, pick a guy, any guy. Goes to neither one of them. And then 23 lets this slow pass drop in there. Look at 23 hanging on him, going for a ride, instead of trying to make a play on the ball. Hmm. Play action. What are my D linemen doing? Uh, they're picking sides and then not. They're being indecisive, though. He sort of picked the side and then he went back to the other side. So they, all he did was give this QB more time to throw the football. Motion left. They're in a zone. This is a zone all day. Play action. What's my end doing? He's not getting there. Who's responsible for this guy? That was the slowest move ever. Alright, so... Where's my middle linebacker? Oh, there. It looks like they're in man. So somebody messed up. Let's see who's supposed to have number four, guys. I think it's number 50. Yeah, number 50 is on number four, guys. Let's see what number 50 does. Number 50 switches. Leaves him. He left him, guys. He got lucky because number 27, I think, made a big-time tackle. That was a big-time tackle right there. Because that should have been a touchdown. False start, all tackles. Wide open. Who's guarding this slant? Clearly no one. So this guy is... Look at it. This guy is eight yards off the ball. Look at him. Look at this idiot. And it goes over the top instead of underneath. And this is the guy that's supposed to be on him. But they actually... You know what, though? It's third and 15. They baited that throw. They wanted him to throw it short, make the tackle, have him kick it. That's all that was. I didn't realize it was third and 15. So that's actually what you want to do there. Because you're not going to stop a touchdown. You want him to bait a throw and like, oh, he's open. Throw it, and then you make the tackle. You're taught that all the time. Uh-oh. Somebody went for a ride. How does that even happen? How do you get flown up? 20 yards. That looks fake. That looked like a cartoon. Now it looks like an offensive play. But that really did look fake, though. This guy just flies up. Like, who's hitting you that hard? Like, you know you're exaggerating. No one attacks that hard on a block. No edge, no chance. Where's my defensive tackle at? Where's my D tackle? Oh, he's look at look what he does. He's lined up a yard off the ball and then doesn't go on the snap and then sits there on his hind leg and lets the guys just push him back. He never tried to contain his gap ever, not even from the beginning. He was never trying to contain his gap, guys. All right, you see what this defensive end did over there? This guy on this side should have done the same thing that this guy did to that guy. He should have hit this guy right here. Instead, free releases him. Let's see if the tackle is made. Nope. Can't make the tackle. You guys think he makes the tackle if he bumps him? He probably doesn't even make the catch if he gets bumped. He doesn't do his job. He gives up a shorter field goal. This one, yeah, this one was supposed to be a miss. Can you say manipulation? This was supposed to be a push to the right, and they hooked it left for him, man. They manipulate every kick, man. It's like every time. So I'll start again. Wide open. How does he burn by both guys? Why is this guy shuffling running and not backpedaling? Why is he going so slow? You got Justin Jefferson flying out on you, and then he burns by the safety too, guys. How unrealistic is this? But we're supposed to believe that. Right, right. You see a defensive back. Oh, this is a magnet catch too. Jesus Christ. You see a defensive back slowly, slowly backing out. Instead of basically backing, backpedaling as fast as you can and turning your hips and running as fast as you can. 
He did the opposite, man. Now you see the ball. Just watch the ball, man. This is ridiculous. Latch. Latch is on. Doesn't move at all. That, that's a magnet catch. If I've ever seen one. Just the way he holds the ball. like It's just so obvious. Let's watch him. Yeah, look at that. Look at the ball. Like, come on, nah. Come on, nah. So they actually did the right thing with that tight end that time, but it doesn't matter. We don't see the play from the beginning. See, we don't see it from the beginning. Gets right behind the linebacker, who shuffled. He started shuffling. He was running and then shuffled to give the guy the time and then started running when the ball was almost there. It, so obvious. Whoa. Untouched, unblocked. Doesn't bump that guy. See, right here, number nine, you need to hit this guy right here. Should have bumped this guy and then come up. Or, like I say, guard this guy. Don't just leave him. There's no one else there. That's your responsibility. Now you got a corner trying to tackle him. Not going to happen. It's just not. It can't. It shouldn't. All right, now they motion left to see if they're in man. They're not. Play action. Right back the other way. Oh, and then this guy pretends to trip on the two-yard line. Look at 23. This is a safety, guys. Bull crap, man. There is no way he actually slipped there, guys. I'm not actually, there's no way I'm falling for that. So we're going to have to talk about that. 445. We're going to have to talk about that one. Now, that was just stupid, man. Dude pretends to slip. Look at his face. Does he look really mad that he did that? Is this a look of a man that's mad that he slipped on purpose to give up a touchdown? Or does that look like a guy that's pretending to be mad? I'll let you be the judge. Wide open in the flat for some reason. Look at this two leakers Leaker number one leaker number two wide open Playing zone so far back when you know there's two threats. Why is he so far off? That's the middle linebacker. You're so far off the ball and you know that there are three or excuse me two threats in the backfield. I Don't get that Two potential threats and you guys are back up 15 yards How does that even happen? Ah, uh, he got the corner to turn his hip. Instead of speed turn, the corner turned back inside with him. If he speed turned, he might have been able to get there. Speed turning really helps with your momentum that you lose. It really gets you the top speed. Whoa, where's my middle linebacker? Ah, uh, he vacated, guys. See this, guys? They're not in man, guys. Like, you see this idiot right here? He literally ran with this guy as if he's in man coverage. All he did here is vacate the middle. So he ran with this guy, even though all he's supposed to do is pass him off because there's a guy here and there's a guy there to end up being in front of both of these guys. And then you're going to see somebody, this guy, leak right into his zone where he should have been. So this idiot takes this guy. And he's not supposed to do that. This is not man coverage. He, this guy should have stayed right here. Boom, hit that guy, pick it off. Anything but what you're doing there. Anything but what he did there would have worked. But the NFL is real, right? Okay. Oh, this is PI, isn't it? Just a breakup. Just a bad breakup. Yeah, show us again. See, right... Ah, uh, right there. He's pulling his arm, guy. That's pass interference, and they didn't call it. By the letter of the law, that's pass interference. He pulled his arm back. They, like, that's by the letter of the law. Like, not my rules. That's their rules. That's their rules, guys. Not mine. Now let's see this manipulation. Kick is up. Ah. Uh, I don't think that one was too manip manipulated. We'll let that go. We'll let that one go. I didn't see too much manipulation on that one. Why would you cut block there unless it's a quick pass? All right. That's the only... I was about to say, the, when you see a lineman like, cut block immediately, expect something quick. 
Guys, come on now. What is that? Well, he didn't even really put a move on him. He cut back on you, and you're falling like that? Yeah, I don't get that, man. I don't need to put him on blast, but there's no way, man. Guys are just pretending to slip and fall to give guys yards. What the hell is that? Wide open. What is 54 doing? If that's a fumble, this is scripted. 54 runs in. I just want to know what he's doing. He runs in and then... I've never seen anything like this in my life. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I don't know what that was. He didn't blitz. He didn't back off. He didn't cover his own. He just did like a little loop around the park. Uh, how did that happen? So they're in motion to a bunch right. Oh, they get confused. I see what they did, guys. Two guys are on one, I think. Yeah, they completely... See, there shouldn't be two guys not guarding someone in a bunch. It should be one on one, on one. It should be three guys guarding three guys. And then, see, yeah, the Vikings are just letting them score here, guys. Look at this linebacker just fly up. Flies up. Why? You would never do that. You see it's a pass. He flew up because he wanted to give that up, guys. All, like, all he had to do, it's pass. It's pass. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's second and ten. They're not going to run the ball. <laughs> like, they're not. And then look at this. And then look at this. To make matters worse, icing on the cake. This is an NFL safety, guys. What type of tackle is that for an NFL safety against a tight end who can't run? This guy cannot run, so why would you dive with desperation like you can't catch him? Because it's scripted, guys. And then he cuts back on everybody. Like, get the hell out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. This this play is definitely scripted, man. That's not even, like, reasonable. Like, can we be reasonable? Let's say that was 6.30. Yeah, that's not even a reasonable play. It wasn't even reasonable. Like, come on now. Like, you would, like, come on, no, not even. So, whiff number one. This guy just spins around for no reason. And then that guy tries to slap his helmet. Watch, whiff, and then watch this guy. He tries to slap his helmet. Like, what? What is that going to do? Besides, piss a lot of people off. How come I don't remember this kickoff return? Is this a touchdown? Yeah, I guess he did score. I don't remember seeing this. I guess those that's one of the touchdowns I missed. That was just a scripted one, though. Patriots were not trying to cover that kick at all. One of the best special teams in the whole league. Off the yard, off by a yard on the ball. And then what kind of a technique is that? He drops his head down. Watch this, guys. Drops his head down in the fetal position. Like, where do you, where are you taught that? Who taught you to do that, buddy? And now look at our D-tackle. Turns his shoulders towards us. So now he's not square. So all he did is help 72 push him on his back. So now you have a massive hole right here because of this guy and this guy. Now let's see if this guy can fill and make the tackle. But it looks like he's going to run into this block here. So let's see. This could be a big play. Yep, runs into the block. Like I said, could be a big play, but this guy saves him. 97 saves a huge play, guys. Somehow he falls back. Somehow his spidey senses come alert and he falls back and saves them from giving up a touchdown. I don't even know how he knew the guy was there unless someone said, he's right behind you. <laughs> like, How did he know that? This dude was off by two yards. They crash inside and it's just bad on this play. They're giving up this play, guys. This ball is hanging up in the air. This is a punt. Yeah, this is a punt right here. I did not realize that ball was in the air that long. By the looks of it here, you should feel like really good about New England. But I had a feeling they weren't going to let them win this game. Oh yeah, they call this a no touchdown. I remember this, guy. Kelsey had the same exact play, same scenario. But they called a touchdown for Kelsey. I wonder why that is. Because Kansas City is scripted to win. The Patriots are not scripted to beat the Vikings this game. That's the only reason that would happen. 
How's it? That's a touchdown, guys. So now they only get three points. That literally shaped the whole game, that one play right there. That's literally a touchdown. False start, both tackles. Everyone rushes inside. There's no edge. There's no chance. No one contains the edge. How does he get right in the middle? Where's my middle backer? Oh, there is none. They blitzed everyone. Oh, that guy fell. I see what happened, guys. This guy right here falls down. Probably on purpose. Watch how he falls. How are you falling here? He just falls down. He just falls down. Lays there, guys. Falls down and lays there. Sniper! We got a big sniper hanging out in the crowd. Alright, so now... They motion out of the gun bunch. Trips. Wide open. Doesn't see him. Goes in the middle. Two guys in the middle. Open. Why are they... I don't know where he's going. I don't know where number eight was going. Should have just stayed there and leave 17. Because there was someone on his right side. Ooh, 17. He's got 17 on the zig. Too late, though. What is my tackle doing? Punched with his right arm, but while going left. So that basically gives the whole inside up. He was moving left, but punching with his right arm. Like, it doesn't make sense. That, that, that was bad, guys. False start. Slant and go. Nice slant. It was actually a zig. And he drops it. Field goal time. Any manipulation? Uh, I, I don't think there was, there was any manipulation on that one. That one looks a little clean. That looked cleaner than dirt that time. Yeah, okay. So 22 comes right on in, unblocked, and then... If you're telling me that was enough to knock you down, come on, man. I don't believe that for a second. Who's he throwing to? Alright. They're playing pretty deep. Oh, it's third and 14. I was like, they're playing deep right now. Are they really about to let him get this first down? Uh-oh, whenever they show a punt, it's never a good thing. Taking forever to punt this off. Oh, they ran into him. They ran into him, guys. Guys, look at this. This is a script right here. Why did you run into his leg? Look at this. The ball is off. So what is this guy doing besides giving them an extra set of downs? Like, this is just blatantly stupid. Like, 35? What are we doing, guy? He's already, the ball's off, and then he runs into his leg. But you're going to tell me that wasn't scripted. Like, be serious with yourselves. Look at this. Runs into his freaking foot. Like, stop it, man. Stop it. 9.38. All right. Look at him. He could have just fell to the ground, but he wanted to run into him, guys. This is part of the script right here. Stupid plays like that. A penalty like that. I think Minnesota, they were supposed to get a first down, but then this guy just made a business decision. Someone told him to do that, guys. He didn't do that on his own. He was told by someone to do that. So let's see. This is just a scene pattern. I wish I could see the DBs, what they did here. Where's my safety? Terrible angle, guys. Oh, my God. That was a bad angle. Safety took a bad angle, guys. He could have definitely made a play on the ball. He kind of went flat instead of sharp. Because he was trying to just to make the hit and not make a play on the ball. So he plays outside leverage. Let's see what he does. Stops his feet, guys. He stopped his feet. And that's why he got behind him. I don't know why you stopped your feet. And then the safety gets there late. He kind of went head to head. But he didn't really like put his head down. So they're not going to call it. When, you're, when it's like that, they're not going to call it. Because he didn't put his head into him. They just met faces. 
Like, McCourty is not known to be a dirty player. He's always been a clean player. Like, he's a clean player, so I would never say that he's trying to headhunt out there. He wasn't headhunting on that one. Like, that wasn't even close. The referees all know him, too. He has a reputation. He has a really good reputation. Like, clean, clean player, guys. He doesn't play dirty at all. I don't know what this was. What is number two doing? Just undercut it? Was he thinking a quarterback trying to throw a line drive? He keeps forgetting that the NFL can control the footballs. You're in the fight area, but guess what? They can raise it a few inches as it's arriving, and you won't even know it. And neither will we. How much do you guys want to bet that the NFL raised the ball slightly? Right when they saw him undercut that. Like, come on, now. If they can do it on field goals, <laughs> they can do it on pass plays. They do it for Josh Allen all the time. His balls are speeding up all the time. Uh, let's watch this receiver fall down with some assistance, though. This dude knocks him down, and they don't call a P.I., I wonder why. Could it be that they're scripted to win? Is uh, I thought it was gonna be another jet sweep. They're trying to turn NFL into high school football. Whoa, this ball, guys! Tell me this sh shouldn't have been intercepted. Look how long this ball's in the air for, guys. This Patriot defender is not trying to get it. And also, this Patriot defender, guys, he runs like a four-two. This is Jonathan Jones. He's one of the fastest guys in the NFL. I kid you not. He runs a 4-2. And look at how long it takes him to get to this ball. This is him right here. Look how long it takes him to arrive. The ball's in the air. Look at it. You're telling me he can't get there? Or is he not trying to get there, guys? He runs a 4-2. The Patriots aren't trying to win this game, guys. They're just trying to hang around. They're just trying to hang around, guys. All right, this play was a wash. Just false start. Oh, my God. They didn't call that. Look at this. What are we doing? That, that's not a false. If that's not a false start, they're basically picking and choosing when they want to call it. That one wasn't even close. That one was a full second before the play. But guess what? Now they got to let New England make it more uh, interesting here. God forbid that we can just go home and walk away from the TV, right? God forbid we walk away from the television. Crash inside, leaves the back unsusceptible to defense. What did number seven just do? Seven has the angle, has him. Go right at him. Go right at him. Go right at him. I don't know what he's doing there. Besides not trying to get there. I'm telling you guys, they wanted everyone glued to those television sets for all three of these games. You mean to tell me all three of these games are down to the wire? That's really, that's really what they said. They're trying to tell us that all three of these games came down to the wire. As if. I don't know what he's doing there. That, that's just the worst. He didn't even try to get depth. He didn't even try to pretend like he had technique. Look at this. Just right to the, his freaking shins. Right to the cut block. Didn't even try to kick back. He just gave it up. Just said, get my quarterback, boy. That wasn't even, don't tell me that they were running a screen or it was for a quick play because the quarterback did a five-step drop. So he was expecting protection on that play, guys. So don't tell me anything. Like, if you say anything dumb, I'm going to block your ass. Because a lot of you trolls are just getting annoying, like, honestly. He'll defend this nonsense. Oh, he's my favorite player. No, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, please shut up. I'm really sick of a lot of you. Not the guys that know what's going on. The people that don't know what the hell is going on, but have a lot to say. Uh, like, I'm sick of those people. Literally, they come in, they'll say something like, you don't know what you're talking about, but then they give no explanation. If I don't know what I'm talking about, tell me what I said wrong, and you do it better then. If you can't, shut the hell up. Like, the worst is when they try to critique you, but they don't critique you. They say nothing. It's like, how was I wrong? They can't even tell you how you were wrong. They can't even decipher the play. They can't even, like dissect the play but they want to come in here and tell me what's what get the hell out of here man i've been doing this for almost 25 30 years almost
All right, so now look at this guy. This lets him right through the middle. Look at this guy. This guy is 350 pounds. Number 69. Look at that. Let's him right on through. Seems like the patch just gave up, man. Toward the fourth quarter, it just seems like they gave up. They just laid down. That's what it seems like, guys. Because they weren't playing like this <clears throat> through the first three quarters. They, were, they looked like the better team. If you ask me, they looked like the better team. And then it just all fell apart. It just all fell apart, man. And here's the last play, most likely. They're just leaving them open. Prevent doesn't mean prevent defense. It means we're allowing something big to happen, but we're going to make a tackle. And that's how the game ends, boys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and sub.